Hi YouTubers, Pete McBennett here with a follow-up video of the uh, Arduino synth. I've hooked up the oscilloscope as I mentioned uh, so you can see the waveforms. Uh, right there you can see the uh, pulse width modulation going on. I have the volume down right now. Uh, that's the lowest note. Let's bring the volume up a little bit. Uh, and that waveform is actually the same waveform that was generated in my other designs with this analog circuitry. Actually, it's just that's, that's that half used to use uh, the, uh, the six op amps. Uh, this is still fun to play with, but of course the Arduino, you know, has the ability for changing code and doing some fun things, and plus the trigger output uh, so that I can trigger the external filter, which is not hooked up because I just wanted to show the output of the, the Nano itself. And by the way, the Uno will work also. The code will work on either. Uh, I put a Nano on this board. This I had this little board with the little, the, the contacts uh, from a, a previous experiment, and I said, you know, I'm going to put a Nano right on there. Um, well, let, me, let me put this scope probe on the trigger output. And you can see the trigger pulse each time you hit a note. And that trigger pulse, of course, is what would be fed into the trigger input of the attack decay generator, uh, which is something I could... This analog circuit, um, there was no trigger output. I experimented with different things, uh, and when the Arduino came along, I said, well, I can do a PWM uh, generator with that and then it had a trigger pulse. Now, of course, everything else, this whole guy is all analog. This is just generating the tones, the same as, as the other circuit used to do. And everything else, all this, you know, attack, decay, uh, resonance, resonance and uh, cutoff frequency, and of course, the uh, I have the little uh, LFO here to do the auto sweep. But uh, this is audio, it just gets fed into here and out of here into the small amp and uh, the, the trigger output is what controls everything. It, as I said, this will eventually have more notes, but I had this board laying around from a previous experiment and I put the Nano on there and it's, uh, it's working pretty good just, just for eight simple notes. Of course, this has uh, this can be fun by itself, but there's there's no uh, attack or decay or en or filtering, no envelope, but it's still kind of cool. But uh, okay, I let me uh, go ahead and uh, while I have the video going, uh, let me put this aside for now because I wanted to uh, show a few things. And by the way, this is just five volts from wall work coming in right now. But I'm using a an old cell phone ball warp, which works great. Uh, it's not hooked up to a PC right now. I use, that's every, it's all standalone once it's uh, the code's loaded. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that, get this out of the way for now, um, and I'll bring in because I wanted to show a little bit about this filter, uh, point out what some of the things are. This is the battery clip. I like making little uh, attachments, uh, like instead of just sticking the battery clip wires in, I like to solder it to a little header and then a uh, little shrink wrap tubing. It's, it's handy to do, makes things a little more reliable when you're prototyping. Um, let me go ahead and bring this up for a better view. The, uh, this is the filter section right here, and the LDRs in the previous design are simply right here shrink wrapped together. At, you know, this is the same, almost the same schematic as uh, 
the video entitled More Knobs to Turn, uh, I changed a couple things. I used to have an external LFO uh, coming from uh, a CMOS hex inverter oscillator, but then I realized I had an unused op amp here, so I just used that. So now everything's all on one board, um, except, of course, the tone oscillator, which is either would be the Arduino or the original circuit. This is actually just, for example, this is the original circuit. Uh, it doesn't have the keyboard hooked up, but obviously you, you can. It just has a, a, a knob to turn for now uh, for the uh, frequency. Here's the, uh, as you've seen before, the LDR. Now, this is really nice, though. It gives that nice expression, which I like. But, it's, but sometimes it, you just want settable attack and decay, you know. They, they, there's benefits to both, you know. They're both fun. It's all fun. Um, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this now, here now for, for now. And uh, I'm going to uh, get into more details with um, some of the circuitry operation of this guy in another video. And... Um, you know, while I'm here, let's, um, just for fun, maybe I'll hook this guy up so you can see. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Do it right on camera. Come on. Plug. This, I'm just going to use it. I'm not going to use uh, this right now. This time I am just plugging it in directly. Um, I have an output. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Once again, this is just an eighth inch output jack. And I've rigged it up to a tiny little two pin header with some shrink wrap just makes it makes it a little more you know this works too this one's just a little more uh, reliable and my output on this guy is right here and let's plug in a little amp and by the way the amp that I always use just computer monitors they were great little test amps for uh, synth circuitry uh, you know these synths are capable of generating a ton of low frequency bass which of course you, you know if you hooked it up to your home stereo or something but for testing these are great. and that is loud <laughs> now that's the original circuit Just a free running oscillator. But you've heard you've heard that one a million times. Uh, so let's turn this down because what is worth showing is the output. Actually you can hear the filter as my hands move around. Cool. Uh, this is the output of this guy. That's not grounded yet. Clean that signal up. Uh, there it is. Now, let me dial in here. Now, notice the similarities there. There's the PWM sweeping. And so basically what I've done with the Arduino is just generating that waveform with the Arduino in code and added the trigger output but as you, you can see it's doing the same thing essentially as far as like someone who wants to like uh, this bare basics this type of this little board with just the analog PWM oscillator and 
just the pitch control and then two LDRs all on one little board. Fun little gadget, really. But I, I like the option of having actual notes to play. Something that's coming up, too. Ah, you guys might remember this from one of the early, early videos. This I had actually hooked up to uh, a regular keyboard. Uh, this actually sounds pretty good with the Arduino plug to it. Uh, I'll have to do that. Not this second now, though. Uh, soon. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. And uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button. And uh, thanks for watching.